What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. All right, so I saw this news break today. Uh, two uh, once powerful figures in the entertainment industry, one in movies, the other in music, uh, had additional sentences added on to their prior uh, sentences. And um, it, it looks very likely that both these individuals will never see the light of day. Um, in particular, Weinstein. Uh, today, in Los Angeles, Harvey Weinstein was sentenced to 16 years in prison and denied a new trial. Three months after being convicted of a word that rhymes with grape in Los Angeles. And uh, you can read the particulars, the details in the article. It's going to be in the pinned comment in the comment section below. Um, this comes on top of the 23-year sentence that he's already been serving. So you take the 23 years. I can't remember how many years he's already done. Uh, not that many and you add the 16, and you look at the fact he's 70, <sighs> unless he becomes one of the longest-lived persons in the history of the world, I don't see him uh, ever leaving prison uh, as, a, as a living person. R. Kelly uh, essentially had a year added to his existing 30-year sentence. Today in Chicago, he was sentenced to, I think, an additional, what was it, 31 years? He's already serving a 30-year sentence. But I think uh, those years were to be served concurrently with the existing sentence. So since that's one year more than the 30-year, in essence, he's getting uh, a one-year added to a sentence. It was 31 years that he's going to be in prison uh, R. Kelly's in his, what, early to mid-50s, so if he ever got out, I don't know if he's eligible for parole, but if he ever got out, I guess he'd be in his mid to late 80s. Um, you know, I'm going to say this. I don't feel sorry for either one of these guys, uh, in particular Weinstein. Well, actually both. I can't, I can't uh, put one less than the other. Both of them were perverts who did a lot of who, who used their powers to manipulate a lot of people uh, in particular Weinstein man look I'm going to say this about R. Kelly I still believe that a lot of the parents of those kids that he was involved with should have also been culpable with crimes because a lot of them in essence outsource their children for money. And I find that highly despicable. Okay? I do want to say this at the end of this video. While this is fine, and this is uh, just, I do find it interesting that somewhere there is a book with names of individuals who have done just as much, if not even more so than these two, who are, you know, even more powerful than these two were, or uh, weren't sacrificed, sacrificial lambs, who, because of who they are, uh, because of the power they have, will never see, uh, you know, justice brought upon them for, you know, crimes that are similar to this. And I'm talking about Epstein. Right? We all know that the, the, the list is out there, but we'll never see, for, for, for certain at least, we have names, but, you know, uh, the actual evidence and trial and all of that, funny how the media doesn't talk about that. So I'm just putting it out there to put all this into perspective. There's always sacrificial lambs, but the majority of them get away scot-free. 
you know? But anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Tell me what you guys think.